Hi, and welcome to this video, how do I manage report layouts in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015. My name is Klaus Mernström, MVP for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. This video was made in collaboration with Platan and Microsoft. At the end of this video, we will have seen that Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 now supports reports created and designed in Word. Also, we will have seen how I modified the report selection so the new sales invoice report 1306 will be used instead of the normal sales invoice report 206. And finally, we will see that the sales invoice report 1306 both contains RDLC layout and a Word layout. Objective of this video is to show you that Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 now supports reports designed in Word. To show you this, I first need to change the default invoice report 206 to report 1306. We will modify the report selection so the new sales invoice report 1306 will be used instead of the sales invoice report 206. Normal sales invoice report 206 does not contain any word layout, but only an RDLC layout, while the new sales invoice report 1306 both contains an RDLC layout and a word layout. Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 allows reports to have a single built-in RDLC layout and a word layout, which are shared among tenants as well as any number of customized layouts per tenant. To browse and manage which layout is currently used for a given report, a new report layout selection list page have been introduced. We will use this page to switch between and run the RDLC and word layouts that are shipped as part of the new report 1306. Let us get started. First, I will open the report selection page and exchange report 206 with 1306. So we're now in NAV 2015. Let's go and exchange 206 with 1306. So first we need to go to the report selection sales page and we open this up. And in the uh, users, I will navigate to invoice. And for the invoice, I can see that the standard is 206 and I want to change this to 1306. So I've done this and I'll say okay. Going forward, this will be the one in the report uh, printing when I'm printing my invoices. So now it's time to print the report 1306 to see how it looks in the RDLC layout. We will open up the new report layout selection page in NME 2015. We will select report 1306 and print the report. And we'll see that the report by default is used in the built-in RDLC layout. So now we're back in NME 2015. And now I don't want to open up the report uh, selection page, but I really want to open up the report layout selection page. So these uh, two pages are very similar, but the report layout selection page is new in NAV 2015. So let's open up the report layout selection page. We will then uh, filter on the report uh, 1306, the one that we just uh, have selected in the report selection page, and then we will run the report. So we will see that it's using the, if we look here, we will see that it's using the RDLC the built-in layout currently. We will preview the report, and now we can see that the, the report opens up in uh, Report Viewer, and we'll see that this is uh, how it was also working in NAV 2013 and 13, 13R2. So we're now at step number three, and we will change the layout to Word for the Sales Invoice Report 1306, and we will print the invoice to Word and PDF, and see that both these scenarios are supported. So back in NAV, as we saw before in step number two, we saw that the selected layout is RDLC. So let's go and change this uh, the layout, and let's go and, and change this to Word. And then when we have selected Word, we can go and run the report again. And then when we uh, select Preview, we will see that now uh, Word is opening up. So I can open up the report, and I'll see the, the report in Word, how that how it's been designed in Word. And if I close down this uh, page, or the Word, I can also run Report, and I can uh, go Print, and I can go PDF. And then in PDF mode, I also see that this is a scenario that's supported, so I can print directly to PDF uh, my red reports. So my report now looks like this, and this report has been created in Word. So to summarize, in step number one, we changed invoice and report selection to point to the new sales invoice report 1306, which contains both the RDC layout and the Word layout. I did this to illustrate that no report in report selections has Word layout by default. In step number two, we then printed the default RDLC layout for the new sales invoice report 1306. And in step number three, we then changed the sales invoice report 1306 to print using the Word layout, and we then printed to both Word and PDF. I hope you enjoyed this how do I video. 
I'm Klaus Lundstrøm, MVP for Microsoft Dynamics Energy. Thanks for watching.